I honestly am almost at a loss for words at how amazing it was. Our names are Mike and Heather. We're traveling the U.S. in our van Appa on a mission to visit all 50 states. Subscribe and join us as we try to figure out this whole van life thing. As always, thanks for watching. The last time you saw us, we were in Indiana leaving the RV Hall of Fame as we made our way back home to Buffalo, New York for the holidays. We had an amazing holiday season, but now we're ready to get back to traveling and I'm so excited to trade in the snow of Buffalo, New York winters for sunshine. We left a 20 degree day in Buffalo to travel across the country and halfway across the Pacific Ocean to come to our 48th state, which is Hawaii. We'd like to be the first to welcome you to Honolulu. It is a beautiful 80 degree day and we cannot wait to get out and start exploring the island of Oahu. Unfortunately, we couldn't take our beloved Van Appa with us, but we are on a mission to visit 50 states after all, so Hawaii definitely needed to be checked off our bucket list. That doesn't mean that we're not going to experience van life while we're here, because after we check out the Waikiki area, we're renting a camper van and exploring the North Shore. Because we traveled back in time to get to Hawaii, getting in last night at 8 o'clock really felt like getting in at 1 in the morning, so we were able to go to sleep, beat the jet lag, and we have an exciting day of exploring the Waikiki area. We've got some hiking to do, some sights to see, some really cool places to visit. So we're gonna get started. It's just about eight o'clock in the morning. We already see people out, so we're gonna go get caught up with everyone else as we explore this part of Hawaii. The first thing that we're gonna do here in the Waikiki area is actually go on a hike to the Diamond Head Crater. We figured we'd start with a bird's eye view of Waikiki before we check out the beach and some of the more touristy things to do here. We're really excited, and this is gonna be some amazing views to start our time here in Hawaii. Something very exciting, we actually have my brother and his girlfriend traveling along with us. In all the states that we've visited so far, we're always kind of trying to nudge family to come visit us, and they finally took us up on their offer in beautiful Hawaii. We left Waikiki and took an Uber to get up to the Diamond Head Crater Trail, which actually requires a reservation, which we were not aware of when we got into our first Uber. Thankfully, they were nice enough to tell us that we needed one, so we booked one and are now here to hike to the top. We're here at the toll booth. We walked through the Kalahala Tunnel and we actually did the Kalahala Lookout. The wind's coming in, but we have the trailhead up ahead, a nice concrete walkway up to the lookout, and then the stairs all the way up to the observation station at the top of the Diamond Head Crater, and then some space to look around up there. We are at the start of the trail and it is a paved walkway, which is really nice. We'll have some steps to walk up at the end. I think there's 72 steps and then another set of 99 steps up at the top, but we are going all the way up to the top. Now I look like the experienced hiker, and they look like the slow folks. <laughs> I just saw how much higher up we have to go. I'm already dying. <laughs> I, I was looking at this view, then I turned around and saw you guys walking up. I just started laughing because look at that. Oh uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty steep. <laughs> this is labeled as a family-friendly hike, but it is steep. So <laughs> as soon as you step foot on the path, you're immediately going up. We're not even halfway through and my face looks like this. We made it to our first viewpoint. I'd be a lot more excited because the views are amazing, but it's right before a huge staircase. Palm trees and 80 degrees. This place is something to see. Salt water, air you can taste in the breeze, and the birds sing a sweet, sweet song. Ocean view, feet in the sand. Mountains behind me, living off the land. Lost track of time, that was part of the plan. So we made it to the top of the Diamond Head Crater Trail. We're heading back down to the pillbox, but we got some amazing views of Waikiki, the surrounding ocean. You can see Cocoa Head Crater, which is gonna be another hike we're doing. All sorts of amazing views from the top, definitely worth it. We have come down off of the top of the Diamond Head Crater hike over in front of the pillbox, and out on the ocean there is a pot of dolphins that are just leaping. We saw them splashing, so we pulled out binoculars, and it is just incredible. Oh, there's oh, one. There's oh, there one they are. Yourself. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> But it is whale watching. This is like uh, like pro level limbo. Come look over here, Heather. You got like an unobstructed view out. Aside from the two heads. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. 
So we successfully completed our first hike here in Hawaii. It was, I thought, pretty incredible. The views were amazing. We saw a dolphin out in the ocean from the top. There were some cool aspects of it going through the, the tunnels. It was really great. So all in all, absolutely worth it. And not too far from downtown Waikiki. I think it was maybe a 10 or so dollar Uber ride up. I gotta know. find one for the way back down. Yeah, we have to get an Uber back into town. <laughs> On our way back to Waikiki Beach, we figured we would treat ourselves and stop at the famous Leonard's Bakery. Thank you. Got the goods. They have a special donut, if that's probably offensive to call them, but they're called malasadas. And I'm making everybody wait to get all of their reactions on camera because I've heard that these are amazing. So I'm very excited to hear what people think of these. You should have done it like through your wrist like oh, that. Can we do it? Yeah, there you go. Go through it. <laughs> very fluffy. It is very fluffy. It's fresh, definitely uh, almost like a croissant, but with the sugar on it, it makes it unique. So we got two. We got one original and one flavor of the month, which is strawberry. But basically, these are Portuguese donuts, and so they're fried dough basically where the outside is crispy but the inside is nice and soft it's super warm coming out fresh I think this is the strawberry one original and that's really good I cheated you could tell the strawberry through there it tastes like a way better version of a toaster strudel you get instant sugar like your mouth is coated with all this in the best possible way and then the inside we got flavor of the month, which is strawberry. It's it's really good. Yeah, that's really good. Really good. Worth the stop. Oh yeah. So we left Leonard's, got an Uber over to the Bishop Museum where we were able to get some tickets off of Groupon for. So we are here to explore. They have a couple of different things going on that teach you more about Hawaiian history and culture and life on the island. So we're going to do some exploring, but I can't wait to see what all is included in this museum, which we heard great things about. We are really enjoying our time here at the Bishop Museum. They've had a little bit of everything. They have uh -huh. a beautiful collection with pieces from Hawaiian culture and history, a lot of really great storytelling. They have an amazing research division with natural history. They have some fun interactives for adults and kids. It's been a blast. We had a really great time at the Bishop Museum and I think it was the perfect way to start our trip here in Hawaii. It really allowed us to gain perspective and appreciation of not only the beautiful wildlife and nature here in Hawaii, but its history and culture. We want to be as respectful as possible while we are here in Hawaii. We're very, very excited to be here We've had an amazing first day in Hawaii. The scenery is beautiful. It's one of the most amazing, incredible places that we've been. And I the people have been so nice yeah. and so friendly. And there's the whole Aloha culture where they are friendly and loving and caring to everyone. But we've been experiencing that firsthand just on the first day here. From the Bishop Museum back to our hotel in Waikiki, we had sort of an impromptu tour through yeah. Honolulu and Waikiki. Our driver, Gary, was fantastic. This is the great King Kamehameha. Five stars for sure. Yeah, he's like, oh, it's your first time here, first day. I'm going to take you on a little driving tour. Yeah. He took us past the Ayona Palace. Is that how you pronounce Ayulani. it? Ayulani. The Ayulani Palace. We were taken past the sculpture of King Kamehameha. We saw the Capitol building, the governor's mansion. We saw some of the harbors. He pointed out some great places to eat. It was unbelievably cool to just have that experience. But now we are back at our hotel where we're coming to regroup and figure out what we're going to be doing for this evening. I'm sad to admit that I already got sunburned and it's the first day. Complete rookie mistake. We actually went to the ABC store which is kind of like which are on like every a corner, corner store. to get sunscreen this morning. I didn't reapply it and uh, I got pretty pretty burned. Yeah. So we might be returning to that ABC store to get some aloe vera. We thought we would do a quick room tour to show you sort of what I guess $125, $125 per night in the Waikiki area will get you. We're definitely happy with the hotel room we got in last night and fell right to sleep. It's nice and comfortable. Seems to be in a good location right near the beach. Yeah, the, and you can literally see the beach from the balcony. Yep, so we'll show you what the room looks like and then we will get cleaned up and see what we're gonna do this evening. So you enter the room through this door and there's a little hallway 
with a very nice fold mirror. I feel like there's not one of those in every hotel room. To our right is a little closet and to my left is the bathroom. Now we have been in here for a day so it's not exactly as clean and pretty and nice as it was when we first came, but here it is. We have lots of amenities, even lotion that I've already put on some of my sunburn before I go get that aloe. I mean, it's fairly basic. Yeah. Um, just like Pretty basic. Got bathroom a, shower. A cute tiki guy. Yeah. Holding our tissues. tissues. Yeah. This is a shower and our shampoo and conditioner that we bought at the ABC store. <laughs> but pretty nice. I mean, I feel like we can't really complain because every other hotel in this area was over $200. So I didn't really know what to expect when we were booking a budget hotel, but I'm pleasantly surprised at how nice this is. And then moving on, it's kind of like the main living area. So we have another little closet where we put our backpacks that we traveled with. And we have our towels hanging up from our showers this morning. We have a safe, extra bedding. And then over in this area is my Dr. Pepper of the day. But we also get a little coffee machine. We have a microwave that'll come in handy for when we go get some cheap takeout. Oh, we have plates in here. Oh, that's cool. And cups. That's nice. pretty nice. And decent storage in there. We have a toaster, an ice bucket, a little mini fridge that has another Dr. Pepper and some water. <laughs> Lots of storage and drawers. Oh my yeah. gosh. We Cabinets have, like, and stuff, storage. Forks, spoons, knives. Yeah, pretty cool. What else is in here? Nothing else in the rest of the drawers, but now I just had a look. Yeah. Okay, we have a little desk work area station with these cute little stools. We have a dresser and TV with all of our stuff. This really cool lamp. How did you turn this on last night? Uh, it's on the floor, actually. So you use your foot. Ah. Slide it. Yeah, because I'm wearing socks. There we go. There you go. <laughs> like, I kind of want this from our bedroom at home. It's cute? pretty cool. I like the flowers. Maybe we can get a small one and put it in our van. Yeah. <laughs> And then of course we have the bed. Got two little night lights. Yeah, the bed was really comfortable. There's air conditioning, which was really nice. Oh and yes, the balcony. So when you walk out onto the balcony, right across is an apartment building. But if you look to the right, you can see the beach. And when we woke up this morning, we actually saw surfers out there and could see the sunrise over the mountains to the left here. This is where we'll be staying for the next couple nights before we head up to the North Shore. I think this is a really good location and we've enjoyed our time here even though it's been just a short time. We've liked this hotel and feel like it's in a good area. It's comfortable so definitely in our books worth the 125 a night. Yeah really I think it's a steal. Yeah definitely good. We're probably gonna get some showers, get cleaned up, and then decide what we're gonna do for dinner and the rest of the evening. We are heading back to the ABC store to grab ourselves some dinner. The original plan was to go watch the free fireworks on the beach. And I think my brother and his girlfriend Blair are still gonna go. But after sitting down in the hotel room after such a busy day, we're definitely feeling the jet lag. So lazy day in the hotel room it is and what better way to spend it than getting a bunch of Hawaiian junk food. from ABC. We saw a lot of people out and about enjoying the nightlife. Instead, we decided we would get some great food from the corner ABC just near our hotel, bring it back to the hotel room, and give it a try. We've already been into ABC three or four times, so... More I'm, times than we would like to admit. Yeah, for various things. They're all over. I'm Most importantly, Afterburn. Yes. So we got a lot of great suggestions on what to eat in Hawaii. We don't usually eat meat, but we did grab some meat items here because they were on the must try list in Hawaii. So we're going to give those a try and I'm very interested to see what it's like because one is spam, which I don't think I've ever had yeah, spam in either. my life. And then another is, what did we get? Oh, uh, a poke a, ball. Yeah. And then we also got 
a DiGiorno mini pizza too. We're, we're starving at this point. It's a thing. Yeah, but so. we're also hungry enough to eat all of this and the pizza. Yeah. Um, one of the new things that we're going to be trying is musubi spam. So it looks like a, a piece of spam on top of rice with maybe a seaweed wrap around it. I asked the people at the counter in ABC and they said microwave for a minute 45. We have a microwave, so this is gonna work perfectly. Okay. <laughs> I've never had spam before. Very nice. Okay. So 145. Oh, I did that wrong. Wait. Time cut, that's how we do it. 145. There we go. I believe you just pick it up and eat it, like all one thing. Spam is like a weird flavor. I, I'm i trying to place it, like what it could taste like. It's good tasting though. Spam almost tastes breakfasty, I guess, if that's like- Breakfast sausage? Maybe, I don't know, it's so, it's so weird. See what you think. Honestly, way better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Just looking at it and just the idea of spam, I think I've always like thought it was gross in my head. I went into this pretty close-minded because <laughs> this is not something that I would normally get, but yeah, I can honestly say I did not eat it. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely an interesting flavor, but not a bad one at all. Yeah, well, let's keep going. The adventurous route because we have our safety food just in case. All right, so next we're going to dive into the spicy ahi poke bowl. And I think this one you don't beat up, right? It's raw fish covered in a spicy sauce with a good heaping of rice underneath and some greenery and sesame seeds. So we got a bit of rice, we got some of the seasoning, and we have some of the ahi. The flavors are all really good. I, I like the flavor in this, I think, more than the Spam, but I, I like spicy stuff, so I, I really dig the flavor. The texture of like the raw fish is a little bit different. Again, not bad, just something that if you haven't eaten it a lot, it is different. But I think the flavors are really good. I actually, I like the flavors through here. This one, I'm a little nervous to try, just because the idea of it being raw, uh, because I am a very picky eater. So, this is, this is a big m moment for me. Okay, All right. I'm done stalling. All right, go for it. I'll put a little bit more rice on. Mm -mm. Definitely not my favorite. It's it's all about the texture of this because like Mike said, the, the flavors are all there that we really like or that I really like as far as it being spicy. I love rice, so you put rice with anything. Um, but yeah, it's just, just the texture for, for me. So this is gonna be a no. I'm I'm kind of about it actually. I It's Good. interesting, you know? I'm glad that you like it. And now moving on to a treat that I'm 100% sure I'm going to enjoy, chocolate macadamia nuts. Yes. So. Oh, they smell so good. Smell it. It's like oh, the they, they smell like Valentine's Day boxes, you know, like the. But a whole box of ones that you actually will enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> we just got six of them for now. I'm sure we will be back to get more, but I'm so excited to try these. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. This is really good. Mm hmm. The chocolate was really good, and then I really like the flavor of macadamia nuts. Mm hmm. So. Those are great. We finished our dinner and we are about to get ready for bed. So we have a good excuse to call it a little bit of an earlier night and not look like total jet lag tourists. Yeah. Mike has a 6.45 a.m. surfing lesson. So we're gonna be up bright and early while Mike is attempting to catch some waves. AKA, we're just really tired and totally <laughs> using this for an excuse. <laughs> yeah, and with that, we're going to bed. So we had laid down to go to bed and we start hearing fireworks go off. Right down the road from our balcony, we just watched fireworks. So I don't know how much more of a perfect ending to our first day in Hawaii that that could, could have possibly happened. Typically there's free fireworks every Friday at the Hilton Hotel, which is the place that my brother and Blair went to. But uh, it looks like unfortunately they didn't need to go all the way out there because it was <laughs> lit right down the road. Yeah. A very nice surprise and perfect way to end the night. On that note, We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning from the Ala Moana Bulls parking lot. This is where we met up with our surf instructor, where we're watching the sunrise come above Diamond Head, and where Mike, most importantly, is getting in the water to learn how to surf this morning. And 
days ahead I'm looking to I've done all that's been asked of me to do So honey, now I'm through Trying to impress Now I'm taking off and cutting loose There's a clock in a bar there And it feels so Delightful To have nowhere to be Cause I got a pocket With a little cash Car with a tank of gas And nowhere to be Thank you so much. Uh, it's a dream. I love that. Good for you, bro. <laughs> you did it yourself, so it's not us. Just so you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It was cool. The waves were definitely bigger, but it was easier to, like, get up and go because you had the momentum. So yeah. kind of like riding a bike, like, you felt it so well there's a couple better. times where i was like i don't know if that's him or not because he looks really good and then you'd fall and, I'd, and then you'd like start swimming and i could recognize you by like your swimming and it's like oh that was him <laughs> <laughs> just got off the water a little bit ago from my surf lesson we went with the hawaiian surf guru i went out with chemo and mike and that was amazing that's definitely a bucket list item for me surfing in hawaii I honestly am almost at a loss for words at how amazing it was. The waves were incredible. It rained while I was out there and it was just like a magic experience. It was absolutely everything I could have hoped for. Kimo and Mike were amazing. So if you're here looking for a surf lesson, definitely look into them. Native Hawaiian business. So it's always great to kind of support that local economy here and make sure the money is going to a good place. And honestly, you can't go wrong. This was something that I'll always remember. It was absolutely amazing. We're cutting through the Hilton Village because the beach that Mike went surfing on is just behind it, so that's very conveniently located. It did start raining, like Mike said, so I got drenched, but you know what? I'd rather be stuck in the rain and then stuck in the snow, so I'm not complaining at all. It's about a 20 minute walk back to our hotel and we're already wet, so what's the harm in getting a little bit more wet? We're yeah. gonna walk back and explore a little bit more on foot. Plus we're hungry, so we're hoping that we stumble across a place to eat. We got mostly dried off here in the hotel room. All of our stuff is drying in the bathroom on hangers, so most of it is quick dry, so fingers crossed it doesn't does dry quick, <laughs> yeah. But we are gonna start making our way to the udon noodle place now. It's about a five minute walk away from our hotel room, so very conveniently located. And best part, it looks like the weather broke for a little bit. And all of the things to try while you're in the Waikiki Beach area, this one kept popping up for having really great udon noodles, which I am a huge fan of. So yes, very excited to try it out. About a 20 minute difference is it's like a totally different day. The clouds are definitely moving fast out of the sky. We got our food, this place is really busy. There is a line out the door and around the, onto the street. So it's really popular and we've heard really great things. So everything we've seen so far just seems to confirm that. The music is really loud. So I think we're gonna dive in and then we'll give a recap a little bit later. We finished our delicious meals from Marukame Udon. It's also Marugame Udon, so if you're in the Waikiki area, either one of those will work and give you an amazing, awesome Japanese meal. Yeah, I had the vegan udon noodles and they were spectacular. The noodles were so thick and the broth was amazing. We got a couple of tempura options and those were all really delicious as well, so I'm willing to bet everything on the menu is really good. Yeah, we were um, a little bit nervous with the line out front, but it actually moved really quick. Like, yeah. it was a long line, but we were in like in under five minutes. Yep. You can see them actually working on the noodles as you're walking in, so you know they're fresh and great. And then it's kind of like a little assembly line, yeah. so they really know what they're doing there. And the staff is really friendly, so. Yeah, yeah that was a really great lunch spot. And, uh, Definitely recommend. Way. One early lunch, because it's still like Yeah, now, <laughs> now it's just about 11 o'clock, but. <laughs> we were starving and it, it hit the spot. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely recommend. And yeah, it moved pretty quick and there was some uh, good seating inside. So yeah. really a nice spot for an early lunch. Yeah, and the best part is, is that the rain has held off. So I think we might be mostly in the clear for the rest of the day, yep. which it won't derail our plans too much. We have a little bit of time before our reservation at Pearl Harbor. So we're very excited to be able to go. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to film any of it because of the new National Parks guidelines mm -hmm. for commercial filming. And technically we do make some money off of this YouTube channel. So we fall under that category, but we're still gonna go and pay our respects and explore Pearl Harbor. Ooh, and we still have to drink a Mai Tai. Yes, so. we do. So that, that's on our list. <laughs> Hello. 
So that can be the next thing you try? <laughs> After a quick stop to the hotel room, we're getting ready to go out to Pearl Harbor where we have tickets to go on the USS Arizona. So we're gonna meet back up with my brother and Blair, catch an Uber together over and go check it out. We are now officially off of the National Park property, so I think it is safe to film. Definitely a must-do stop just to pay homage. Very solemn, but something worth doing for sure. Yeah, I think we're really happy that we were able to get the tickets to the USS Arizona. I think that made it more of a complete experience. There's a lot of history here and all I can say is it was worth coming and doing and I'm glad we did it. We took a quick Uber back to our hotel where we were able to change and get ready for the evening. We're gonna go grab some drinks, the famous Mai Tais because we are in Hawaii after all, grab dinner and even see a hula show that is free on the beach. So we're really excited to have a really amazing night here in Oahu. So we have made it to the famous Mai Tai bar here at the Royal Hawaiian Hotel and we are here for the Mai Tais. <laughs> yeah, I misspoke earlier. I originally thought that the Mai Tai was invented in Hawaii, but that, that that's wrong. Uh, it was originally invented in California and then they brought it here, but it was made famous in Hawaii. So yes. still a staple here when you come to this area, you have to try one. Yes, and this is kind of a classic place to, to try it from. Beautiful views out onto the water. You get an amazing view of Diamond Head on the beach. The pink Royal Hawaiian Hotel building is amazing, so it's just a great spot to be here in Waikiki. Yeah. And third wheeling with us right now is my brother Nate. <laughs> I really like the aesthetic here at the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. They really incorporate the pink color everywhere, so they've got the pink umbrellas, the chairs, obviously the hotel is pink, the staff have cool pink shirts. It's really cool and I like the vibe. To add to the vibe, they just started playing some live music. So there's a lot of different options on this drink menu in total, but even for the Mai Tais, we decided to go for the Vix and the Royal Hawaiian Mai Tai. Okay, so we just got ours delivered actually. One is the Vix and one is the Royal Hawaiian. The Vix is the original and the Royal Hawaiian one, I think is just the one that they've adapted for here. Yeah. yeah, but there's actually a little detailing of the history of the Mai Tai. So it looks like the Royal Hawaiian commissioned Trader Vic. Trader Vic, who is the original creator of the Mai Tai in California, created one for the Royal Hawaiian that incorporates pineapple juice. So we're gonna start with the original. Yes. That's really good. It's kind of like got a, a tart, sour taste to it, but the alcohol is not really heavy, so they're definitely dangerous, but it tastes really good. So I just looked at the ingredients list, and rum is the main component of this, so I don't know how big of a rum drink I am, mostly tequila. This is good. You're right about these being dangerous, because usually rum-flavored stuff I don't like because it's overpowering, but this just tastes like a nice juice. I can see the draw. Yeah, it's got a unique taste. I've never had one before, so. Do you approve? Do you have an old fashioned? Kind of, yeah, except less gross. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the this is the Royal Hawaiian Mai Tai. It's okay, they gave us a bunch of cute pink napkins. Yeah. You can really taste the pineapple in that one. It definitely has much more of a tropical flavor. The sour is kind of cut a little bit with it. It's really good. Also, the music is really good. Yeah, I'm a fan of both of these. I like it, but I do prefer the original. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, definitely more pineapple. Uh, not a huge fan. I like the original better. Yeah, two for two uh, or two out of three on the original. So yeah, well, I the think original you, for the win. You must like just the actual like alcohol drinks, and I just like the tropical fruity drinks. Yeah, you which is very go true. for a strawberry daiquiri. So <laughs> this one's all you. I get the original. All right. So we've finished up our mai tais at the mai tai bar at the uh, Royal Hawaiian Hotel, and we're walking down the beach now to go over to the hula show which is on Tuesdays and Saturdays. It goes from 6.30 to maybe 7.30. So we're gonna go check that out. I'm really excited to see it. But now we are currently walking down the beach towards Diamond Head to meet at the Duke statue where we'll be able to watch a free hula show. Yep. How fun. <laughs> Oh, my 
This love I know, the land of the Mulus. It's snowing in Hawaii. Oh, you won't believe your eyes. And I and all of our dancers, we hope you enjoyed our show tonight. We left the hula show, which was absolutely amazing. The dancing was so great and the music was fantastic. It was really a treat to be able to go and do on the Waikiki Beach for free. Yeah, it was really cool. There's lots of different generations of people doing it, the little kids doing it, as well as the elders. So it was a really amazing experience. And we looked at ourselves a couple times and we're like, wow, we're like watching hula dancers on in, the beach in Hawaii. In Hawaii, yeah. it's just absolutely amazing. After that, we wanted just a quick bite to eat. So we ran over to the International Marketplace, which, which is, where is we're coming back from right now. yeah, which is just on Kuyo Street, which is where our hotel is located. So it was just a quick walk down the street. Uh -huh. We went to Aloha Pizza and grabbed ourselves a couple of slices. Don't judge us too harshly, but we just wanted something quick that we could take back to the hotel because we've been up since 5:45 this morning, walking around, so we're a little bit tired. Today turned into a beautiful day. <laughs> It started off rainy and stormy, but cleared up and it's been a really great night. So we are back at the hotel room and our feet are sore, <laughs> our stomachs are empty, which isn't great because we had a pretty strong alcoholic <laughs> beverage not too long ago that I'm not going to say we were tipsy from, but we at least knew that we, we had an it. alcoholic beverage a little bit earlier. Yeah. So we are definitely ready to dig into this pizza. I am starving. We yeah. have been walking all over today. We did. This pizza was well earned. The, we put in the, our steps today. Yeah, I think we had food at 10 o'clock this morning when we had the um, marukame udon. Although that was pretty filling. It was. We had a lot of food. We couldn't even finish all of it. It was so good though. But I'm just ready to dive into this pizza. Yeah. And it, and looks, it looks pretty good. good. It's very cheesy. I don't know if we should record this because this is about to get like lion on a wilder, wildebeest in like the savannah, the way that we're about to devour this pizza. That's some strong imagery there. That's good. Just hitting the spot. Mm-hmm. Definitely needed. Mm-hmm. That pizza was awesome. I don't know if it's the best pizza in the Waikiki area, but it tasted like it tonight, so we were really happy to have had it. We hope that you've enjoyed sharing this beginning to our Hawaii adventure with us. We've really enjoyed our time in Waikiki and kind of getting into exploring Oahu a little bit more. Tomorrow we are doing a lot more all around the island of Oahu as we rent a car, jump in with Gypsy Guide, and drive the entire island. Mm -hmm. We're both really looking forward to tomorrow as we explore more of this island outside of the Waikiki area. We are spending, what, two more nights here? Yes. Yeah, we're spending two more nights here before we rent a camper van and explore the North Shore. So we still have a lot more Hawaiian adventures ahead of us and we're so excited. But we're gonna leave you here now tonight as we have another early morning tomorrow as we have to go pick up our rental car. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.